Just as a warrior chooses armor for victory, the BJJ mat demands the perfect ensemble, and every jiu-jitsu practitioner is no stranger to the art of donning the traditional gi or the sleek no-gi attire. The gi, with its sturdy lapels and flowing fabric, offers a myriad of grips and submissions. On the flip side, no-gi demands a different kind of intimacy where control and speed reign supreme. But amidst this classic clash, there is a wild card that often creeps into the mats. Socks. You're on the mats, ready to roll, and there they are, the sock-wearing warriors. They treated the fine line between style and necessity, turning heads and raising eyebrows. So, should socks be a staple in your BJJ wardrobe? Well, the beauty of this sport lies in its open-mindedness. There's no rulebook that explicitly forbids the use of socks. In fact, some practitioners find that socks provide an extra layer of protection against mat burns and minor scrapes. As much as the sock squad gains attention, it's no secret that most BJJ practitioners prefer to let their toes roam free. Why, you ask? It's all about the game of connection. In BJJ, every grip, twist, and turn is a calculated move. And the secret sauce? It's all in the skin-to-skin -skin contact. Feeling your opponent's subtle shifts and shimmies is key to executing those precise sweeps and seamless transitions. Wearing socks might create a barrier dampening this tactile experience. So why do some still wear socks? One compelling reason some trainers don socks is rooted in the delicate nature of their feet and the discomfort of irritated sensitive feet. For some, the canvas of the mat can be a battleground for potential infections, including the dreaded ringworm and foot staff. Ringworm is a fungus, not a worm, that can affect your skin, scalp, or nail. These determined individuals prioritize their health and hygiene, understanding that prevention is indeed the best form of self-defense. But let's not dismiss the quest for sheer comfort. Just as we are particular about the fit of our gi or the snugness of our rash guards. You get it tucked in your seam, you have the long sleeves cuffing your wrist. Some practitioners find solace in the soothing embrace of socks. Have you ever stepped onto a mat only to feel an unexpected chill or a slightly damp sensation? It's no secret that the training floor can be a medley of temperatures and textures for those sensitive to the cold or disenchanted by the sometimes less than desirable state of the mats. Socks offer a cozy cocoon of familiarity. Socks makes your feet warm, which doctors say opens up the blood vessels that cools your body down. While socks can offer benefits, it's essential to strike a balance between innovation and tradition. If for health reasons, you need socks. Then you need much better socks than the regular ones. Right now, some of us are still losing. Oh, get that sock on her! Get it! Get it! Quick! Oh, get that sock on her! Oh, get it! Oh, get it. Oh, get it. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't your everyday cotton companions. These are grappling socks, crafted with purpose and precision to elevate your mat game to a whole new level. Grappling socks, unlike regular socks that surrender to the whims of water, are crafted from neoprene, a moisture-resistant and liquid-shedding material. These socks are slip-resistant, designed to provide the grip that your average sock just can't muster. But yeah, these are really, really cool. Like the bottoms, if you can see, it's like that rough. It has like this grip. So when you're on the mat, it really reduces like the slippage. There are two intriguing types of grappling socks, grip socks and toe socks. Grappling socks, whether grip-enhanced or toe-embracing, hold a treasure trove of benefits. They can offer enhanced traction, protecting your feet from unexpected slips and enhancing your control over the match. Additionally, the moisture-resistant neoprene helps maintain foot hygiene and reduces the risk of infections, a critical consideration in the close-quartered world of BJJ. For those who cringe at the thought of microbial invaders, 
grappling socks offer an extra layer of defense. Staff and ringworm are like the unwelcome guests at a BJJ party. They show up uninvited, cause chaos, and linger long after the festivities are over. Then by the end of Sunday, it was like a little pimple. And so I'm like, gaff, it's staff. I've had it before, I know straight away. Have to make sure that you treat it straight away. Because a lot of people don't realize it can kill you. Grappling socks act as a formidable barrier, making it more difficult for bacteria to breach your defenses. Boom! Oh. DDT. Try that again. This is especially crucial if you have eczema, which can transform into an inflammatory battleground, or if you're nursing a foot wound that could easily succumb to infection. Grappling socks aren't just for your own benefit. They also play a pivotal role in curbing the spread of disease. Just make sure to wash them before you use them. Imagine you're grappling with a bacterial infection on your feet and still want to train. Socks are a proactive measure to prevent the spread of the contagion. However, it's also important to acknowledge the potential downsides of grappling socks. Remember me fully, Socko? He would take the hand and like the, he had that move called the mandible claw that we would take his hand. And I, I don't know what the. F Despite their advantages, they can introduce new challenges. The very grip that makes them advantageous can also be a double-edged sword, potentially limiting the smoothness of certain techniques. Also, socks can trap moisture, leading to a breeding ground for foot fungus and other infections. While grappling socks offer a fortress of protection, there are still hygiene considerations to ponder. Using a pair of socks per training day is the most important rule to curb infections. Like it is essential for soldiers to never wear a wet boot the next day. The same applies to socks. There will be times during operations when you get wet. Always have dry kit with you and change into it as soon as possible. Dry, clean socks are what are needed on the mat to avoid the spread of any infection to training partners. Remember, personal hygiene practices play a significant role in maintaining a healthy training atmosphere. If you're grappling with persistent skin problems, consider consulting a healthcare professional for guidance. The rules of wearing socks in jiu-jitsu can be a bit like a puzzle that changes from place to place. No easy solution, since the actual solution is quite complicated. Some gyms say yes to socks, while others say no. And in competitions, some have strict rules about what you can wear on your feet, while others are more flexible. If need be, taping is mostly used in competition. In this area, I would start kind of with half the tape on the skin, half the tape on the pre-wrap. First, we'll do a anchor on the affected. This is not put on very tightly. I actually want to leave a good bit of slack in this. Whether you choose socks or go with the old school barefoot style, remember to keep practicing, keep learning, and keep your balance strong.